Hi everyone, this is Diecast Channel and in this video we're going to take a look at this 1971 Plymouth Duster 340 that's made by YRTL, Auto World, American Muscle at a 1 to 18 scale. So, if you like those American Muscle cars, stay tuned and we are going to take a look at this very nice Mopar. So, let's unbox it and take a better look at it. We have the Plymouth Duster, which is the Dodge Demons Plymouth counterpart. This car is very nicely made by Auto World. It's um, a no DRTL line, so it's simpler than the Authentics, but still a very nice quality model car. Let's take a better look at it. The front grille, as we look, we can see that it's got a pretty good quality. We can see this pattern and the mesh underneath it and the blinkers right here, just like it's supposed to be in a Plymouth. This grill reminds me of the Valiant, though the Valiant are, is made with horizontal elements instead of vertical elements, just like we find in the Duster. The Plymouth logo right here in the third, uh, 340 wedge front hood, which is painted flat black, so it looks very nice. As we pop the hood open, we can see that the hood is also painted flat black inside, the engine bay is pretty much correct with the engine, the 344 barrel with all hoses and cables and wires, uh, the alternator, the uh, brake system, the reservoir, the fluid reservoir, the battery. Uh, it's not the same quality of a Highway 61 but still very well made. And so this car really looks very nice. The hood opens and closes correctly. And the fenders, as we look here, we see the antenna, which is a very delicate piece. It's very well made as well. Uh, the trim around the wheel wells, which, uh, uh, which is cast in metal and painted silver, but very well painted. By the way, the quality of this painting is very good. And this car is made in a plum crazy color, just like that Barracuda and a Dodge Challenger I've shown before. We see the duster sticker right here and then the duster stripe which looks very nice and has no misalignment at all. As we open the passenger door, we can take a look at the interior, which is made in carpet, tilt in front seats with the correct pattern, the dashboard that's really pretty much similar to Dodge Darts, steering wheel and the stick shift is four on the floor. And there's a, sort of a headliner made with the black, flat black painting, as well as flat black sun visors, which are fixed right there. The vinyl top is very well made as well as those joints here which are pretty much correct. The trim around the rear window is also correct, it's made in silver but very well made. There's this rear spoiler here, I really don't like this spoiler very much but since it's original from, of a car I just keep it the way it is. The rear of the car as we can see, it's got those very realistic tail lights dual exhaust and as we open the trunk lid we can see the trunk with the plastic mat uh, the spare tire should be here underneath just like in the Dodge Dart this doesn't have the same quality of Highway 61 but still very well made that's uh, a very nice car actually there's no gas pipe and the hinges are a little bit inward compared to those ones in the Highway 61 cars. So one more look at the 340 Duster Stripe. As we open the driver's door, we can take one more look at the interior with the very nice three-spoke steering wheel, a dashboard that really looks like the one on the Dart. There's a stick shift with a four on the floor, the seats, and the door opens and closes correctly, the mirror is correct, a bunch of wipers, those relic wheels that look very nice and the bottom of a car we can see that follows about the same pattern of those ones we find in the Authentics and Highway 61 for Mopars with the ray primer in the middle of a chassis and body color around the edges so there's a plum crazy car and as we can see the engine and training are in the correct color the drive shafts in the correct color the rear axle the front axle are all fixed but still correct. A gas tank and the spare tire compartment made here which are pretty much pretty well done. The suspension here has all components that are supposed to be here. It's only the only difference from Highway 61 it's fixed. But 
It's still a very well-made car and very nice to have on a Mopar die-cast car collection. So it's a car I really advise. So from 0 to 10, I would give this car a 10. It's uh, an outer world, simpler line. It's not uh, just like a, an authentic line, so it's not supposed to be that sophisticated, really. But in this category, it's very well made. The level of detailment is uh, of detailing is very nice. So this is a very nice car to have. I'm really glad to have this car in my collection. So I'd like to thank you for all views, for all likes and comments. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to give me your likes and comments below. And stay tuned for the next videos. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.